Hey guys, Susanna here, back again for another part of my um, journal. I am going to be making a bit more ephemera and stuff, but I've lined the inside of it with beautiful Tim Holtz paper. I've got two, still haven't put that in yet, so that's going to go on there. So I've got two signatures in there, um, and so I'm going to be doing a few more bits and pieces to put them I haven't no, I haven't officially sewn them in there yet but um yeah got some nice Tim Holtz paper in there as well so I need to do a few more bits and pieces of ephemera put that over here um I cut this one out last time and um so I thought I'd use that up now in um Amity Bloom's um latest video she made a big um, like three tags out of one pocket. Where are we? That way? Yeah. So, um, it's a big tag and I think it's about a big pocket. Um, not pocket. Oh, envelope. It's around about eight and a half by uh, five and a half. So a little bit longer. Um, and so you cut it, you fold it in half and then you cut it in half. And so you end up with three three envelopes like one like that and one one ends up being a smaller one on its own so so if you want to know just go to Amity Bloom's um, tutorial and she can show you but I'll just show you that you just that's how the envelope goes and and I'll show you how you're gonna make what we're gonna do with this one it's gonna be that's gonna be the tuck spot in there and then it's also going to be um, an opening in there we're going to put paper along there so that um, yeah so I'll fit a tag in there and then this is going to be like a small version of that um, once again paper there that and then that will be the tuck spot and this one because it's the bottom half it'll just be a pocket from the top so you get three pockets out of the one the one thing where are we there we go that's how it went together So um, I'm going to be using this one because um, as in for a pocket for it to go in here, the big one. So I've got some paper here that I thought would be really nice. I'm going to utilise these. But I would like to put um, some bigger paper on here. So I'll put that over here. Um, that's what I'm going to use to decorate it with. Okay. I've also got, when I got a happy mail from um, Christelle, she made me this beautiful Paris journal. I got these gorgeous little um, like butterfly, Tim Holt butterfly wings. And so I'm going to make some little, um, you know, a couple of fairies. That's probably a bit too big for that, but make some fairies out of little people the these sort of things with some of this and maybe some other stuff as well to sort of decorate the journal with as well as using this one so now I want to have something oh here we go quite like that I want it in the blue that's going to match that um, that'll go on there like that, I think. Okay. How big is it? Um, that'll be... I could probably just glue it. So what you do is you just glue just this part. Not there. Because that's why you need something a little bit thicker like, um, you know, cardstock. Because that's going to make the pocket a little bit. Oh. 
I do it the difficult way, I know. But it's because I'm wanting you to get uh, the right edge. There we go. There we go. Now, fold that over. Be careful not to cut that. A little more. Doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky because you don't see that part anyway. And I want that along more like this. So that's going to be like that. that on there so just cut that off so we know what we're working with across there like that that's cool so what I'll do is I'll just glue that part okay and then making sure that it's going on there properly so what I'll do is I'll just cut across here we do you know what I am going to put something along there because that is that could very well um, stick because it's a bit of a sticky end I don't think Nazi did that, but I thought I just don't want any of this sticking to any of the tags or whatever I put in. Because that's the sticky end of the, the uh, envelope. Now, what we do here, see, that gives us, because you've got that little extra bit there, and that's glued down, so 
Let's get a bit of glue on here. On the bottom. And we glue that down. Actually, what I should have done before I glued it down quickly, give it a bit of an ink along the edge there. I really wanted to find it, so give it a good ink. Then ink around the outside. And we've got ourselves a pocket. And a hidden pocket as well. So with this, I may end up putting this one in the back of the journal because um, where are we? because it has got a. Uh, I uh, may have to put it in somewhere because we've got a pocket here and we want to be able to get in and out. So I think probably the best bet for that one might be on a bit of paper along here. And so you've got the opening here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. Now, so I'm just umming and ahhing whether I put some paper on the back or not. So with this little guy, we have got I might use this one. Okay. Let's cut him up. We like to keep the name of the fairy and put it somewhere with it. These guys can be thrown away. Um, So cute. Okay. I just love these little guys. So gorgeous. So I'll cut fairly close because I'll probably be able to get one in there. Yep. For another one. Now, put this little guy. I think I might ink it all the way over because it's fairly light. Oh, geez, it doesn't make it easy, does it? And when I go to the sewing machine to sew around that, I will sew around this little guy too. So I'll put it up a little higher so that when I sew, it's all okay. Now, yeah. ink 
around. And double check that it's not too big. Nope. That looks gorgeous in there. That's so cute. I think that's big enough to even put maybe, you know, even another little guy in there or something like that. So that's the first pocket. Actually, I can probably even put one of these with it as well. I've got quite a few of these that I need to use up. Bit of ephemera or something that needs to go in here. I've got a couple of these big tags which I've already pre-done. got a bit of weight to them I'm thinking something like that would go really good in there I might put a, um, a flower fairy or something like that on there I think that's a good good weight there we go but I've got to decorate that as well so now Um, that needs to be sewn. Okay, so that one's done. So we need to do similar with this. I kind of like that, but then that means this is upside down. Um... And I might use this one to house some of these little, these little guys. Okay. What have we got? That might be the perfect size, pretty much. Okay. So this is just pretty much a little aversion. Might even be able to chop that in a little bit because it's underneath so you won't see it. Now um, I would actually like to make this a little shorter because I think it's a bit long. And that cuts off that sticky bit anyway. Okay, so I'm thinking yeah. sometimes you just cut until it's just what you need. Plain. What about if we add some of that to it? Um, some pieces here. Even though I 
those will add something like that to it. I think that's rather pretty. Beautiful papers. go over to the edge so I take that off and put it on so it's gonna go on properly there we go a little bit there that see this was actually envelopes from my uh, birthday party that you can't use again rather than using new envelopes I had all these envelopes left over from my birthday Got that there we go yeah I like that I like it I'm thinking that probably be better for a small little. This doesn't look straight to me. There we go. Now, fully glue this down. Ink that. wouldn't hurt to ink this either. Okay, so do that there. And then glue that down here as well. And then I'm going to sew around it so it's going to be all good and that'll be another one that's got a tiny little pocket as well see one of these might go well in there cool I like it see things you can make just by one envelope you've got three little pockets and then this last one needs to be cut straight Add that little pocket now. Let's have a look. I really love this butterfly. I think that would be nice. Um, cut out and stuck on later okay now what else we got you know what I might even actually use the tags 
he says it has to be the same. I quite like that one. So you can use the tags because I got two of these as actual um, things. See how we cut that off on the top. Now, I might close that now. Okay, and then glue this. that on the front because it'll be a bit stronger uh, I'll be going on the edge because I know that it's just shy of it so I'm going to cut my edge a little shorter so that it works. There we go. Ooh, I like that. Then I'm going to use that. I don't mind. I'm going to use it on the back. And then I might even put that in with a, a um, paper clip because I reckon you can journal on that part. I like that. Now, probably should have cut that off. I might actually cut it off a little lower. There we go. A smaller pocket. Now, definitely going to need sewing. Take that bit off, and I've still got a bit of that left. And you know what? I'm going to grab a little bit of this top in the middle. a little pocket and it's not quite in the middle but it's okay Oops, okay so now we've got ourselves a pocket now I'll pause it and then I'll do a bit of sewing but I might want to make some of these okay. do the sewing in a minute while we're on a roll get some of 
these little guys. So we're going to stick one of these in the middle, like that. Then it needs a tab on the side. Then hmm, got a butterfly there too. Um, get some of the bigger ones. Where are the bigger ones? I think these two guys would be good. She's a little cutie too. She's gorgeous. Um, and then get some of these wings. They're gorgeous. And just glue in the middle. Hopefully that'll sit okay. Since so it's dry. Let it dry that way. There's also little small ones. There is another one there somewhere. Here we go. That's probably going to go on the small one. And then she's got pretty big wings, that girl. Maybe put some smaller ones on the guy. I always like to ink my little people, which I should have done with the girl beforehand. And then put that on. Yep. There we go. Put that down. And I've got to let that dry and I'll just ink, ink her. I've got other wings too, but I just thought I might use these ones because they're really quite transparent and very much like little fairies. Okay, so I'm going to just let those guys dry. Now, oh. oh, sorry, my noggin's in the way. Need some of this. as a dog's hind leg. I know I've got another one of these somewhere but this will just do. Just so it's got a little tab to be able to pull. Pull out the side. Ideally, you would put that on and then, um, then sew. So that's what's going to go in there. Now, what am I going to put in that one? I don't know. Maybe I ought to sew around them first. Okay, with this, just to give it a bit of something that always looks good okay 
I'll just pause it and I'll be back. Okay, back again. Um, while I was there, I um, put some of these onto some paper and cut around them to make some little journaling cards. So I was thinking of putting a, I think I've inked around all of them, putting that one because that's got a bit of a bluish tinge to it. Putting that one in there with that at the back or even. So I've sewn around here and I have to make sure that I didn't sew here. Um, oh, that's what we're going to put in there. We're going to put that tag in there, but I'm going to decorate that. So first, I might even put a little tab in there. And then here, I've got that. And, those, and I've put a little tab so I know that there is a tag in there. And we're going to put a couple of fairies in there. Whether I do one in there, I can we could probably put one of those in there as well. Or even I'm going to do a couple. Each of them can have a little fairy, but that one's got a fairy, so I think that might go in there as well. And then maybe put a, a tag. It's got a bit of blue on there. I've got to take that off. Take a couple of these little. So I might just put a tag in there. And then a little fairy on top of that. Cute. There we go. I'm just wondering whether we can put another big, big one behind there. Just a plain one. Need something. One of the big tags. Oh, no like this but I might get one of the blue ones I think pretend that this is something like that and then I'll put a little tag like that here we go just pretend this one is one of the other ones and then it'll go like that Oh, I like that. But I think I'm going to be using. Where is my little tag stash? Oh, sorry, guys. It's here somewhere. Here we go. That one. There's those three. There's two of them. See, that one probably go all right. Yeah, I think that middle one, like that one, that'll probably end up going on there. So, move all these away, clean it all up. And we've got this big one, that one, and that one. And that's going to have, I've got all these tags that I've prepared. Um, earlier, like I got back the mall a while back with all eco dyed, so that'll have that tag on the inside, which I'll make something with, and then make one of these ones. And I'll probably put the lighter paper just to make it a little bit thinner because it does need a couple of tags. And then the, this is going to have a little fairy and a tag on there as well. Cute. There we go. I like it. A little collection. How gorgeous is that? Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the, um, the next episode. Bye. Thanks for watching.